Welcome to Class 4 Learning, I'm Mr. Chen and today we're going to be learning about volume. What are you talking about? Good question. Volume is pretty much you trying to figure out how much stuff you can fit in a three-dimensional object. Let's do an example. I have a green cube right here and I want you guys to figure out the volume of this prism. Tell me, how many of these small cubes can fit in this really big cube? Pause the video, try it out yourself. Let's go for it. All right, let's take a look at this problem right here. I see that this bottom base right here, this bottom layer contains nine cubes. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And because this bottom layer is the same layer as this middle layer here, and as the same as this top layer right here, I can multiply nine times the height, which is three. So nine times three, is going to give me 27 cubes. So the volume of this cube is going to be 27 cubed units. Let's do another volume problem. I have a rectangular prism right here. This is the first side, second side, third side, fourth side, fifth side, and sixth side. I want you guys to pause the video and calculate what is the volume of this rectangular prism. Go ahead. Let's get to it! Alright, let's take a look at this problem. Since this bottom base right here has six cubes, one, two, three, four, five, six, and the height of this cube is one, two, two, I can multiply six times two. So our volume is going to be 12 cubic units. Let's do another volume problem. I have another rectangular prism right here. This side is three meters, this side is five meters, and this height right here is two meters. I want you guys to pause the video and figure out the volume of this rectangular prism. Go ahead. All right, let's do the problem. All right, so let's take a look. So basically, to find the volume, all you really need to do is multiply the base or the bottom and multiply it by the height. The base of this problem is gonna be three times five or 15. And then we're going to multiply it by the height, which is 2, because both of the layers are going to be the same. And that's going to give us a volume of 30 cubic meters. Let's do another volume problem. Right here I have a triangular prism. This side is 3 meters, this side is 4 meters, and the height is 3 meters. Pause the video and tell me, what is the volume of this triangular prism? Go ahead. All right, let's do the problem. For this problem right here, just like the other example that we just did, we multiply the base times the height. In this problem right here, the base is going to be 3 times 4, which is 12, and then we're going to divide it by 2, since it's a triangle, which is going to be 6. We're then going to multiply it by the height, which is 3. So all three layers are going to be exactly the same as the base. And that's going to give us 18 cubic meters. This answer means that there are 18 cubic meters that can fit into this triangular prism. So to wrap things up, volume is pretty much you trying to figure out how much space, how much stuff you can fit in a three-dimensional prism, or how many of these cubes you can fit in here. And remember, the formula for volume is base times height, where you try to figure out how many cubes there are in the bottom layer or the base and multiply it by the heights or how many layers there are. Thanks for watching Glassboard Learning. I'm Mr. Chen and I'll see you guys next time.